Hey guys, this is Jesse, and I'm making a quick video on the Psychic 4G. I don't really do that, but my friend knows how to Psychic, and he wants to know how I run, so I'm like, let me take a video and show him what's, what's up with the phone. So, here you go. I have a custom ROM on it. It runs very smooth. One thing is that it's not the stock ROM. The stock ROM is, to me, it's laggy and it's slow, yes. But, I put a custom ROM on it, and it runs very smooth, like... It's a breeze, and um, if you guys want, I will also put a description in the link of where I got the ROM, like that you could download it and put it on your phone if you have a second 4G. That is, and here you go. I only have two, but you can put more. The only reason why I have two things on my, my on my screen is because I don't see the reason why to have more things, because I only need to put widgets or app because of this beautiful thing about the sidekick like everybody knows if you're a sidekick you will love the sidekick for two for two reasons which is the jump key and the keyboard right okay this is no different with this one this one has android and look this is a jump key right here right if you just press it normally it shows you all the app that you went on before okay so you could just click them and it goes right to the app like the phone boom and it goes to the phone okay but let me show you the jump key. The jump key, boom, let's go back to the phone, which is I set up as P. We set up all the keys all the way as different apps. Okay, so it's a lot of a lot of shortcuts for you. A lot plenty. For example, this for my messaging, yeah, okay. App um I put B for my browser. Look, I'm gonna click it right now. Boom. Okay, I was on Amazon just now. What about email? I put email as E. Boom, E. Okay, that's my email. Uh, what else? Hey, plenty of fish. I, get, I put it as O, right? I'm clicking on O. Boom, plenty of fish. Okay. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? What else? This, the phone is very smooth, honestly. Like, if you want to get a sidekick, you should. It runs very good. Just put a custom ROM on it. Um... The browser, look, I'm sure the browser, the pinch and zoom, just to show you guys. Okay, like you see, it's very, uh, very smooth. You can't really see too much because of the camera, so that good quality, but in the lightning, but it's, you see, it's smooth, it's very smooth. And this keyboard, oh my gosh, like, there's no better keyboard. I use a lot of different phones, and this keyboard is just amazing. If you love typing and text, this is the keyboard for you. This is the phone for you, honestly. Um, what about the screen? The screen, yes, the screen is small compared to like, all those, those new uh, Android phones like the Galaxy S2. That's like that 4.5 huge screen. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. But let's compare this phone to another phone with the same size. Of, which of screen? Um, the iPhone. The iPhone has the same, same screen, which is 3.5 inch. This is the same size as the iPhone, okay? One thing though is that most Android phone, like imagine you want to go on Google from the browser, you click on this, and the keyboard will just pop up on the screen, right? With this, not really, like, actually not, let me show you something else. If I want to type something within the browser, like Amazon, I'm looking for for iPhones, right? Boom. The screen doesn't pop up, because when, when the keyboard pops up, usually on Android phone, it blocks what you it blocks everything that you sing on landscape that is right so I'm looking for iPhone boom okay very fast it's gonna take a few seconds to boom it's gonna show me the iPhones now okay anyway just it was just to show you the keyboard uh, what else I want to show you uh, I will not show you the camera because the camera is garbage to me like it takes very bad pictures the resolution is very low and but yeah I didn't I did not get this phone to take pictures so I really don't care but yeah you also have the trackball there, you can't really see, but it's to me it's useless. Like it works good, but it's useless. I don't use it. If you want to use it, cool, it, it's there. But um, yeah. What else about this phone? Oh, you wondering like the screen is good and is bright enough? Like like I said, the camera's not that good. I'm using, but I hope you guys can see. It. Okay. Also, I have a custom like skin on it. Like that's what it looks like there. I like it, especially with um, the white screen in the back. It looks very slick. The phone itself, um, that's it. 
like it's not those new Android phones that come out with a dual core. They should have. I would have been happy. You know, it's not as fast as those newest phones, but it's fast enough. Um, it has 500 MB of RAM. It has the thing that's not that good about this phone is, in terms of ROM and app, it only has 500 MB as well. Meaning that after the ROM, there's not that much space. But you could put an SD card, and that's where everything will go. And right here. And I have a 32 gig SD card, so I really don't care about the space because everything goes on my SD card. So that's not a problem. And um, yeah. Also about videos, hey, about videos. You, I think how does it look here? Let me show you a video that I was just watching. Also, that's the, let me see, the notification bar right here. It's transparent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a movie. Let me show you a movie. I was watching this this anime earlier. Okay, it's on pause right now. Let me unpause it. Mm. It looks very good. That's the last um, Naruto episode, if you guys wanted to know. <laughs> that looks very good. The screen is beautiful. Just my camera is not that good, but it looks very good. But yeah, anyway, let me stop there. You can see, I'm watching a movie. Uh, let me, I don't know, jump to my music app, which I set up as zero. Boom, my music right there. Okay. So imagine I wanted to go back and watch the video. I can do that. I go back to the shortcut that I set it up as, and boom, it's back. Okay. So, yeah. Let's say I want to go to my messaging app. Boom. Okay. It's instant. Like, instantly, like, it just jumps. It's just very good. So, I don't know if you guys were thinking of getting a psychic and you guys saw the videos about psychic is being slow and has issues. Yes, it does. But if you put a custom ROM on it, you don't have that problem. Especially if you put the custom ROM I have on. And I will put it, um, I'll put the, the link in the description if you want. Just put it on and you'll see. Anyway, that's it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love this phone. You could use it just as a regular phone too, landscape. I mean, portrait I mean. It has the keyboard and all that, just as regular Android phone. Okay. Boom, this is my friend right here. Like, look, I type right here. See, boom. It also has swipe. They aren't on the bullet yet, but yeah, it has swipe also. This is the Android keyboard. It's very good. Yeah. So, I don't know, all you guys that talk shit about the sidekick, uh, forget them because I love my sidekick. I think I'm gonna rock this phone for a while, for a long time. Because I just love the keyboard. Also, another thing about this that I love is the lock screen. Like, if you just press like this, boom, it unlocks the phone. And you can also, you also have a second one. Hey, this one you can set up as any app you want. I set up as my music. Player. So look, I do that, boom, my music player. And the third thing I love is this. To me it's pretty slick. Like right now it's 202, right? And it shows 202 right here. So to me I think it's pretty, it's pretty hot. So that was it for the for this review. Thank you for watching. Bye.